it seems the Supreme Court smackdown to the Second Circuit related to the New York Concealed Carry Improvement Act cases has resonated with the Second Circuit. Yeah, they understand that daddy's mad at them, so they're getting their act in line. And this could be really good for people in New York and gun control destruction across the country. Before I jump into that, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that's Lear Capital. Last year was a terrible year for investors, and predictions are that 2023 will be even worse with the upcoming recession. But what did have a really impressive year this past year was gold investments. And 2023 is looking even better as some experts predict gold will be up 100% to $4,000 an ounce. I believe gold and silver are the safe haven assets to protect your savings and your retirement against inflation and recession. If you're interested in investing in gold, I suggest you call my friends at Lear Capital. The team at Lear will provide helpful information about purchasing gold or converting part of your IRA or your 401k into a gold IRA. There are a lot of gold companies out there to choose from. It can be confusing. I chose to do business with Lear Capital because not only are they the best around with over 25 years in business and thousands of five-star reviews, but they also have a 24-hour risk-free guarantee where you can review your investment for 24 hours before committing to it. You can learn more at leargg.com or call 1-800-260-5075. Not only will Lear Capital give you your gold and silver investment guides, but you'll also get up to $15,000 in free bonus medals with the qualified purchase. So check them out again, leargg.com, 1-800-260-5075. Thanks to Lear Capital for sponsoring this video. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. This is Guns and Gadgets. And if you think the Second Amendment is paramount to anybody's feelings, then subscribe to this channel down below. By subscribing to this channel, the voice gets stronger and we put out truth about the Second Amendment every single day. So check back often. We're going to New York. So I'm going to show you again the statement that the Supreme Court, specifically Justices Alito and Justice Thomas, what they said directly to the Second Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals related to their administrative stay that they put on the Concealed Carry Improvement Act uh, in New York. As Just as a recap, that law by a couple different judges has been called unconstitutional, I believe, five times now. Judge Sotheby hit it three or four times and then Judge Sinatra one or two times. I forget the exact matrix, but it's been called unconstitutional. And there are a plethora of cases, five actually, that are challenging the CCIA. Kathy Hochul did this in response to the Bruin decision when it came down through the Supreme Court. She said it was a misguided decision and she wanted to basically make it illegal to carry anywhere in the state of New York. I've done a bunch of videos on it, but it would turn basically the whole state into a gun-free zone using sensitive places and places of worship and private property was deemed uh, a gun-free zone unless the, gun, unless the property owner said guns can be here. I'm going to show you first the statement from the court from the Supreme Court, when Gun Owners of America's emergency appeal related to that Second Circuit stay was denied, and this is what they said related to that denial. This was issued January 11th, and it says, the application to vacate the stay presented to Justice Sotomayor, and by her referred to the court as denied. Statement of Justice Alito, to whom Justice Clarence Thomas joins, respecting the denial of the application to vacate the stay. The New York law at issue in this application presents novel and serious questions under both the First and Second Amendments. The district court found, in a thorough opinion, that the applicants were likely to succeed on a number of their claims, and it issued a preliminary injunction as to 12 provisions of the challenged law. With one exception, the Second Circuit issued a stay of the injunction in full and in doing so did not provide any explanation for its ruling. In parallel cases presenting related issues, the Second Circuit has likewise issued unreasoned summary stay orders, but in those cases it has ordered expedited briefing, those being the Hardaway and Christian cases. I understand the court's denial today to reflect respect for the Second Circuit's procedures in managing its own docket, rather than expressing any view on the merits of this case. Applicants should not be deterred by today's order from again seeking relief if the Second Circuit does not, within a reasonable time, provide an explanation for its stay order or expedite consideration of the appeal. Well, the Supreme Court 
gave the Second Circuit an ultimatum, said you didn't do your job right, and if you don't do it right, we're going to take this emergency appeal back again, and you're not going to like it. So they gave him an option, either explain your stay or expedite the case. Well, the Second Circuit didn't want to ex explain their, their stay. You know why? Because they can't really say why they stayed it, just because Kathy Hochul and the gun control mafia didn't want them to pass it, and the Second Circuit is truly still anti-gun. So we have news that the cases have been expedited and all of them are going to be heard on the same day. Here is the first order that came out from the Second Circuit and it says as a stated term of the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit held at the Thurgood Marshall United States Courthouse at 40 Foley Square in the city of New York on the 13th day of January 2023 they have said that the following cases will be heard on March 20th of 2023. It's the Antonyuk versus Negrelli case. It's the Hardaway versus Negrelli case, along with the Christian versus Negrelli case, and the Gazzola case versus Kathy Hochul. And we also found out that the Spencer case will also be heard on the same day, March 20th of 2023. So five challenges to New York's Concealed Carry Improvement Act actually the uh, let's figure out a way to ban guns from anything and anybody who does it lawfully and legally case. And they're going to get destroyed if it gets to the Supreme Court. And I really can't think that the Second Circuit, although I know they will probably find a way, but if you look at things rationally, I don't know how they are going to say that, you know what, the two judges at the district level said this is unconstitutional several times. They were wrong, and we're going to figure out our own text history and tradition. Try as they may, I think they will be damned. Uh, and good things are coming to not only New York, but this, the nation as a whole. Because if it, the Supreme Court gets it, uh, then the Second Circuit and the nation, as far as gun control, is screwed. Because who else has followed this very platform that New York has tried? Jersey, Delaware, uh, Maryland, California, uh, Illinois, Massachusetts has a lot of it coming on deck too. This is good. There's a lot of big cases, and we're gonna need to wanna we're gonna wanna watch this one close. So if you are like me and you wanna stay up to date with this, then subscribe to this channel down below and I'll bring you that information as it drops. March 20th will be a very big day in the courtroom. We're not gonna get a ruling that day. Could be a little while as they mull things over. But will they rule correctly? Let me know what you think down below. I probably agree with what you're gonna write. But I still can't wait to read them. Uh, and it's going to go to the second. If, if they do it the wrong thing, <laughs> Alito and Thomas are salivating to get another case, specifically one that tells what tells them what they did in the Bruin case to go kick rocks. And I got to believe they're eagerly anticipating this. So maybe they scared the Second Circuit and doing the right thing by admonishing them publicly. We'll see. If you want to stay up to date... Subscribe down below, and until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community, your state, your country free and safe. That's what it's for, guys and gals, regardless of all the feelings that are being rained down on Twitter right now. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.